These are probably one of my favorite pairs of scissors. They are wicked sharp. Dude, that's a big brown bro. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about some new scissors that we've had. I would say, honestly, these are probably one of my favorite pairs of scissors. They're called Renamed. They're new, they're imported. They are wicked sharp and the blades are super fine. So I'm gonna go through the three that I use the most and we have the entire lineup in a link. Uh, if you can go our profile or the description below, click that link and it will take you to the whole collection of scissors that we have from Renamed. The first one here, which is their Fly Tire series, and it's kind of your general purpose all around scissor. This is one I use with CDC and when I'm cutting longer pieces of material, like long pieces of marabou. And then this is just a longer reach scissor, which I'll probably use more with marabou uh, snipping and give, getting into hair and some other things that I need to get a little bit longer reach on. Okay, so when I'm looking at scissors, for my personal use, I look at three things that will help me determine whether or not I like a scissor. If you wanna look at, I've got a previous scissor video where I talk about a bunch of different scissors and kind of compare them. It's an older video, but the same concepts apply. So the first thing that I look at, and probably the most obvious to more, most fly tires, is going to be the sharpness of the blades. So if the blades are not sharp, they will not cut and do what you need to all around. That's probably the biggest differential with uh, most fly tires that you're gonna see is that ability to cut sharply. One of the tests that I will do is take a, a material, usually something synthetic, like a, a, a light thread. So this is a little 70 denier thread and I'll hold it without any tension on it and you just come up here and cut it. If it will cut without any extra tension, that's a sign of a really good sharp scissor. The other thing that you can do is you can grab like a piece of Antron or some Zelon and hold it up with in the same fashion, straight up like that and just go straight across. And if it cuts all of those evenly without leaving any stragglers, again, that's gonna be a good sign that the scissor's really sharp. So the second thing that I look at when I'm looking at scissors is the blade width. And by width, I mean this way. So the thickness of the blades and combined into that is the, the point, how, how fine of a point. So right here, I've got the Renamed scissor and we're gonna compare it to another scissor that's not as fine a point. You can see that there's actually a fairly big difference between the Renamed, which is a very thin, fine width scissor and versus another average pair of scissors. Now, the nice thing that you get with the Renameds here with that is that if I'm going to be tying flies and I have a piece of material, piece of hair, thread, whatever, that's sticking up out of, that I need to trim from this fly, what I want is I want my scissors to get as close to the surface of that material as possible and cut it off. So the only way that's gonna happen is if I've got a very thin, fine point, that will allow me to get in very tightly and get that material trimmed off as close as possible as I can to the fly itself. So beyond that, those are the two biggest things. The other thing that you look at is durability. So in other words, how long will I be able to tie with these scissors before they go dull? Now again, we've only had these for a few months. I have not had a pair go bad or that's gone dull on me yet, which is good. Now I haven't tied as much as I normally would in the previous months, but I would say that this probably surpasses or is equal to a lot of my other favorite scissors, like the Tiemco razor scissors, uh, Dr. Slick's uh, razor scissors, also a good pair, and tungsten carbide scissors. So those are all good scissors you kind of bank against. But the Renameds, again, really high quality build, they are thin to get the, the cut into as close as the fly, and they're gonna hold their sharpness, which they're sharp to begin with. So these are gonna be some really great scissor options for you. We have lots of models listed on our website. You click on uh, link in our profile or the link below, and you'll see all the scissors we carry. Again, they come in usually straight or curved, then medium kind of sh longer uh, range, and then you have like I mentioned, these ones, which are a blunt end, longer blades, I think these are 15 centimeters, to help you cut uh, more materials all at once. So, check out the Renamed scissors, they're awesome.